kayong lahat? Okay naman po ba kayo? We wish and we hope that you had a very productive and a very good week week last week. So ayan, dito po sa amin sa Ottawa, medyo maulan po the whole week last week, pero okay na okay naman po kami. And eto nga po, happy na naman kasi it's the weekend! Di ba baby? Are you also happy kasi it's the weekend? Ayan! So today po is a, a little bit of a special vlog. Kasi nga po, ang ating vlog today ay sponsored ng Department of Foreign Affairs here in Ottawa! So what does that actually mean? So today po sa ating vlog, magkakaroon po tayo ng unboxing! Ito pong box na to ay binigay sa atin galing po sa Embassy of the Philippines in Ottawa. Um, and this is a... Um, this is a Fiesta Filipinas box season 2. So, samahan niyo po kami ngayon kasi titingnan natin kung ano po ang laman ng box na ito at ano po ang ating pwedeng gagawin dito sa mga laman na ito sa vlog namin for today. Kaya samahan niyo po kami mga kanani. Kanani. Sinabi ko nga kanina na itong video na to is we're making it exclusively for the Department of Foreign Affairs of the Philippines Embassy here in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. So, bakit po ganon? Kasi our friends from uh, um, the Embassy of the Philippines in Ottawa, Hello, Ma'am Tet! Special shout out po sa inyo! Thank you po kay Ma'am Tet uh, Narbada for making this possible. Pinadalhan po tayo ng isang a uh, fun Filipino celebration box. So, ayan po, nakita niyo po from the Embassy of the Philippines sa 30 Murray Street and naka-address po siya sa atin. So, sobrang exciting po kasi this is one of their campaigns um, na parang palakihin pa po ang mga celebration natin sa Pinas. And this is actually the Kadayawan Festival box. Ito po yun. So, Fiesta Filipina Season 2. So, ayan po. So, nandito na po nga tayo. Mag-a-unbox po tayo ngayon. Samahan niyo po kami. Titignan natin kung anong laman ng ating Fiesta Box. Ayan. So, nakikita ko kasi si Ma'am Tet, binuksan niya yung sa kanila. Tapos, parang ang daming, ang daming mga ganap sa loob. <laughs> daming food. Mga ganon. May mga recipe yata on, on what to cook or how to cook things, mga ganyan. So, I'm really looking forward to this one kasi first time ito. Talaga. First time ito na mangyayari. So, nakuha ko tong box when we went to the embassy last time to actually pick up Hardin's passport. So, eto nga. So, special shout out ulit sa ating friends dyan sa Embassy of the Philippines in Ottawa. Lalong-lalo na kay Ma'am Tet Narbuada and kay Ate Gigi. So, ayan, story time muna tayo, mga kanani. Yes! Mommy's gonna tell a story. I know. Ayan. So, eto, mga kanani, merong letters. I'm gonna read like a portion of the letter to you. So, it says here, Dear Miss Kasiple, as the Philippines celebrates National Tourism Week this September, so, pang September talaga to, ako talagang hindi nakapunta agad, I am pleased to inform you of the upcoming third episode of Fiesta Filipina Season 2, an online celebration of Philippine festivals. So, ayan. So, kaya po siya tinawag na Kadayawan Festival Box. Eto po siya. Kasi eto po yung yung a festival na sinaselebrate po at the time na pinadala ito sa akin. In connection with the above event, I'm pleased to share with you the enclosed curated Fiesta Filipina Season 2 kit. Okay, so Puto Maya and Chocolate de Davao. Ayan, yan po ang ating gagawin. Uh, further enclosed for reference is the ingredients list. Amazeballs. 
um, Kadayaman Festival episode may be accessed via the official Facebook and YouTube accounts of the DFA. Since we follow you natin mamaya, ililink po namin sa baba para mapanood nyo rin po. And I invite you and your visitas to join us for this extraordinary event and share your experience with your friends on social media. So this is exactly what we're doing today. Sincerely yours, Francisco Noel R. Fernandez III. So, hello Sir Francis. Thank you so much po sa pagpapadala po nito sa amin. Super, super appreciated po and maraming maraming salamat for sharing this with us. So, sayang-saya po kami talaga kasi syempre namimiss din po namin yung mga festivals back home and tuwang-tuwa po kami to be sharing it with you guys and of course to our friends here in Canada. Yun naman po talaga yung purpose nitong lahat-lahat. So, ayan na nga po. Ayan, ang ganda ng box. So, Kadayawan Fia Festival, Fiesta Filipina Season 2. Ayan siya. So, sa mga taga-Davao dyan, hello po sa inyong lahat. Baka po may maligaw dito at nanonood po from Davao. So, hello po dyan. And, ang ganda, warning. A fun Filipino celebration waiting inside. O, di ba? It's more fun in the Philippines. Ayan pa rin po yata yung ating logo. Ah, di logo. Tagline. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so ready na ba kayo? Ito na po siya. Bubuksan na natin. Ay, okay. More boxes inside. Ayan. So, ito yung... Okay, ito yung recipe yata na sinasabi. Okay, we can't wait to do this. Tuna sisig. Actually, this is the highlight of today's vlog talaga. Gagawa tayo ng tuna sisig today. Okay, ito po siya. So, yan. Ready ka na ba, chef? Dad, are you ready? Ayan na nga! Tada! Friends! Ito na siya! So, ay, ang ganda! So, meron pang brochure. Ayan. So, introduction to Davao. So, it's really, it's really like a tourism, um, tourism campaign talaga. And it's even telling you which are basically the hot spots that you can find in Davao. Ayan, no? Kasi minsan na rin nakapunta na kami ng Davao eh, pero hindi kami doon talaga tumagal. Parang nadaan lang kami doon um, when we had to actually go and do our medical to come here uh, in Canada. Doon tayo sa Davao, di ba that? That, that was in Davao City. Yes, so ayun. Tapos teka, so, sobrang segue lang and short story lang talaga while, while we're waiting for this to be shown kung ano yung laman. Um, the reason why DFA is really close to me and close to my heart is because years ago, when I was still in the university, I had the opportunity to actually do my internship at the Department of Foreign Affairs um, in Pasay City. This was uh, this was way back in 2007, yata yun. Kung tama ba? 2007, 2008. But it was a summer internship. And I really, really loved my exposure there. I was working with the United Nations... Um, Ano ba yun? International Organization uh, Department. Yan, nakasama ko dyan si na Ma'am Tet. Dyan kami actually nagkakilala. And I really had fun in my job to the point na actually nag-extend ako ng onte. Kasi nga, I, I was really having fun with the job. And yun, isa sa mga dream jobs ko talaga before. I mean, diplomat because I really wanted to travel around the world. So yun, hindi siya nangyari. But here I am with my husband and my son in Canada. So okay na rin. <laughs> So, ayun siya. So, ayun na nga, guys. Fast forward 12, 13 years, maybe 15 even after. Nagkita kami ni Mom Tet dito sa Embassy in Ottawa. Kaya yan, happy to be reunited with friends. And hello na rin ate Sam. Sobrang sarap nung binake mong cinnamon buns para sa amin. So, thank you so much. Ayan. So, eto na nga, guys. So, ano yung laman ng box? So, merong mango steam candy. Meron ding coconut milk powder. We also have the premium unsweetened chocolate. Uh, ano ba to? I think chocolate bars or parang yung tableya, parang ganun siya. Okay, and meron din. Oh, yung favorite ko, durian toffee. Ayan, oh, favorite ko talaga tong durian candy. Hindi ako kumakain ng fresh na durian kasi hindi ko talaga parang hindi pa kami close nung amoy. Pero, uh, nasasarapan ako sa candy. Ayan. And you also have this Meponica. It's uh, malagkit rice. Um, para ito sa, if I'm not mistaken, ano ba yun, dad? Para yata to sa Putomaya. 
Ayan, para ito sa putamaya and para ito sa chocolate de Davao. Ayan, merong mga recipe dito for that. Try natin yan mamaya. And also, merong banana chips. Uy, natikman natin to when we went to Davao last time. Masarap talaga siya. We did. We tried this one. Masarap siya, di ba? Ayun. Ay! And of course, a Fiesta Filipinas Ref Magnet. Ayan talaga. I crave for these things. Ako, mahilig ako sa mga Ref Magnets, mga keychains, mga ganyan. Mga kung anong-anik-anik. Mga ganyan. And, eto. Merong sisig mix kasi today, like I was mentioning a while ago, gagawa tayo ng tuna sisig. So, lalabas kami in a bit actually para bumili ng tuna kasi wala naman kaming tuna dito sa bahay. Sige lang. Um, and also, ayan, marami pang ibang mga ref magnets. Ang cute Okay. So, I think this is mangosteen, sampalok. Ano pa ba itong isa na to? Merong oh map of the Philippine island um, uh, map of the Philippines and then another map of the Philippines and merong super cute na ano to ang cute kami ang ganda <laughs> I really like cute stuff ano ito simoy ng cacao okay so parang siguro mga parang air freshener ba to oh, ano ba yan Okay, tingnan natin mamaya. So, ayan siya, guys. So, nabuksan na nga natin and we know what to do. Ngayon, guys, samahan nyo kami. Lalabas tayo ng sandaling-sandali lang. Bibili tayo ng ibang ingredients for our sisig at babalik tayo dito sa ating kitchen para magluto ng tuna sisig. Few inches later. So, welcome back to the kitchen, mga kanani. So, eto na nga. I took a little bit of time to prepare everything para hindi na tayo. I know, baby. Come. Come to mommy. Go grab him. It's okay. So, yun na nga. I prepared the ingredients ahead of time na para on this next episode of the vlog, eh, magluluto na lang tayo. Hi, baby. You're awake now. Okay. So, ayan. So, what we have here, very quickly lang, meron tayong garlic, meron tayong onions. We also have two kinds of chilies just because we love chilies a lot. And eto na nga yung ating diced salmon. So, because wala tayong tuna, uh, nag-substitute tayo ng salmon. So, yan ang ating gagamitin for today. Okay? So, eto siya, guys. And everything is actually diced. We roughly diced. I roughly diced everything here. Just because gusto natin ng texture, di ba? Yun naman talaga pag gumakain. It's all about texture. And syempre, dahil wala po tayong kalamansi, ang gagamitin natin ay lemon. So, meron na kami ditong um, pre-squeezed lemon juice. So, nabibili siya dito sa mga grocery store. So, yan ang gagamitin natin mamaya for uh, the asim factor. So, ayan. Very simple lang naman, guys, ang gumawa ng sisig. Kahit nga minsan nakapikit ka, you know na how to do sisig, uh, how to do sisig talaga. So, and also because we have the mamacita sisig mix here. So, it's actually easier to do things kasi nga, naka, naka ano na, yung, fl yung flavor na kailangan natin, nakapack na siya and ready. So, ayan, guys, uh, samahan nyo ako, magluluto ako. Ako pala ang magluluto today. <laughs> Akala ko si Daddy magluluto today, pero ako pala. So, magluluto ako ng sisig. This is going to be our dinner as well. Um, dad, paki, ano ng rice? <laughs> Kasi rice is life. Ayan, guys. So, um, B-roll coming up. Hindi naman talaga siya B-roll, pero pakita lang natin yung process ng paggawa namin ng sisig. And then, we'll get back to you. We'll talk a little while we eat. And then, uh, that's it for today's vlog. Okay, guys? pa kayo? O, oh, eto na. Tapos na ang ating salmon sisig. Ayan. So, <laughs> it's time for a taste test. Subukan natin kasi first time namin din mag-try ng salmon sisig. Never kami nagluto ng ganito before? Uh, never. Never, right? Dito lang kami kumakain ng salmon kasi sa atin medyo hindi siya ganun ka-popular. You really so, have to... Yeah. <coughs> So, try muna natin na uh, without the lemon. Okay. Mm. 
sarap siya. <laughs> Actually, guys, in extra spicy namin to. Kasi, medyo fishy yung salmon talaga. Yung... Masarap siya. Pero masarap siya. Hindi, no joke. Yung sisig, sisig ng eh. mamasitas, masarap siya. Mm. I'm deciding, you know, guys, wow. this is sisig. Sisig is never wow. not masarap. It's always masarap. So, next is, nagyan natin ng lemon. Dahil wala po kaming kalamansi ngayon dito sa bahay, kaya po kami magle-lemon. Pero kung may kalamansi, siyempre, di ba? Kalamansi. Oo, siyempre. Mm-mm. Hmm? Mm. That's even better. To me... Wow. With the lemon, it's even better. Tsaka kapag kumakain kayo guys talaga ng sisig, di ba yung habol na talaga yung may sili, yung may onions, yung may garlic, yung mga ganun na lalasahan. Ganun kasi kami kumain eh. Gusto namin yung nalalasahan talaga namin yung ingredients ng food. Kaya, for us, this is really good. This is great. It's a good alternative to pork sisig. Pork sisig is, you know, if you're watching after your calorie intake, definitely fish is a really good alternative for it. Sa mga nagda-diet-diet, maganda to. Siyempre, mas masarap pag may rice. So, oh. ayun. <laughs> rice is life. Rice is life. So, ayan. Sumaka ka na, Nay. Dito na magtatapos ang vlog natin for today. Grabe, nahuhubara na ako at lahat na. Nagmamadali na matulog. So, dito po nagtatapos ang vlog natin for today. Maraming salamat po sa pagsama ulit sa amin. And thank you so much for watching our cooking segment of this vlog. Sa so, sinabi nga namin nung una, marami tayong different kinds of vlogs. Hindi lang lahat gala, hindi lang ano. M minsan din, magsistay din kami dito sa bahay. And all that, minsan magsashare din ako ng mga ng mga tips um, kung anong ginawa ko nung, nung journey ko during my pregnancy tungkol sa anak ko and everything so lahat-lahat yan is share namin lahat sa inyo so again maraming maraming salamat po happy Sunday po sa inyong lahat uh, we wish you a really good week ahead and um, say something to the vlog <laughs> ayan and thank you again guys see you next time bye